Okay. All right. Ah, uh, shit. Now I can't see that. One second, brothers and sisters. Hold on. Checking. The, make sure. Okay. Good. Shalom, Israel. Shalom. All right. We're going to turn on some lights here. This one. Hey, Shalom, Israel. We're going to turn on this light here. Okay. Woo. Hey, Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom. Hey, first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh. Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land wherever we go. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom. <sighs> hey, brothers and sisters. So, uh, you know, I saw one tonight, man. I saw a chariot right before, uh, right before coming down here. You know, and we, we hear the brothers all the time talking about how they seen chariots and stuff. So, that was nice, man. I'm, I'm so thankful and, and, and happy to see it because, uh, let's see, I was, uh, I was, uh, I was trying to I was trying to get this this tone. Let's see, is this the tone here? Let's see. Yeah, okay, that's the tone. So so I had uh you know, I pray before we always pray before we come down to camp. So I said 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 a prayer, you know, said the prayer. And uh I went out to put the to start to put the stuff in the back of the car. And uh as I was I had finished putting it all in there, and it's a hatchback, so I went up to grab the top to bring it down, and I, as I went to do that, that was a star right up there, right? And right by the star was a chariot. As soon as I looked up, the, the, the chariot went dark, bro. Boom, just like that. And then, soon after that, just immediately after that, I heard that sound. And I was like, all praises to you, about Shema Shai. Right, because this sound came up, you know, because I was playing the, uh, playing the brothers through the through the car stereo. I was like, all praises to you, about Shema Shai, man, because, you know, we, uh, as, uh, that was a brother I was watching today, man. He was like, um, oh, yeah, it was, uh, I was just watching um, Lu uh, GMS Louisiana Saints. And right before they closed down camp. The brother was saying uh, how sometimes, you know, you might be feeling a certain way or, or whatever. And uh, how about Shema Shai would sh give you a token, you know, give you a little sign or a little token. And he said you might see a 144 on a tag or something like that. And he was just talking. He was exactly. He was just talking about uh, seeing a chariot. And I was like, wow, that's that's so nice, bro. That's so nice. Because, you know, we've all seen, we've, we've seen chariots before and everything. We've seen the videos and everything. But to see, you know. Just to see one, you know, it's always a blessing. It's always so nice, bro. So, hey, we're going to get right into the epistle, Lord willing. Uh, it'd be exhorting and edifying, this this live camp tonight. Mm. So, um, that was two that was two scriptures I wanted to bring out this morning. When we did that epistle, um, there's a way that seems right to a man. See, look, all praises to Yahweh Shemasha. One, look, ten forty-four, bro. That's exactly that's exactly what the brother was talking about. You see that? Ten forty-four. All praises to Yahweh Shemasha, man. That's exactly what the brother was talking about. You see what I'm talking about, man? <laughs> all praises to Yahweh Shemasha. So, uh, yeah, we we were. Uh, I wanted to bring out these these other scriptures that go that went with that epistle before we get into before we get into it tonight, man. You know, and the big brother elder. Uh, brought out an epistle earlier today, actually this afternoon as well. You know, based off of Romans, I think it was Romans chapter eight, verse one, about not, you know, not not having your, not letting your sins condemn you, bro, because it's all, it's you know, this we're in this physical, we're in this flesh, right? Uh, and there's no way we're not justified by the law. There's no way we can we can fulfill the law. No, man. But how about Shema Shai? Has um, called us out of darkness into this marvelous light, right? He he said, "Hey, this is the way. That's why we're walking in the spirit, and that's what these two scriptures is all about, right here." We're just gonna get them real quick. Let let the word of Yahweh Shemashah speak for itself. 
You know, but that was a beautiful epistle as well. Going to the book of Galatians chapter 3, uh, verse 24. Where, uh, Galatians chapter 3, verse 24, right? Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Yahweh Shai, that we might be justified by faith. Right, the law, you know, when we first come into the truth, we, you know, of course, we, we, we learn, we eat the whole roll, we learn, you know, law, we earn, learn the errors of our ways, we learn that this world is ran in all wickedness, and they are contrary to what Yahweh Shem had de has declared for us to do, right? Which is, you know, they, they, they even lied and said that the law was done away with, right? But no, that's, we found out that that's not the case. And uh, so we start, we set on the journey, you know, to, to start to repent, right? And as the trip proclaims, return, repent. And uh, we start following the laws, as the brother brought out in, in uh, Big Brother Elder's epistle, uh, in the book of Judges. They, we rehearsed the righteous acts in the land of drawing waters, roughly paraphrasing. We rehearsed the righteous acts. Right, so we come back, understanding we're not justified by the law, but we, we're under grace. You know, it's, it's mercy. You know, it's the blood of the Yahweh Shem it's the blood of the Lamb that we're, you know, hoping to be covered by. Uh, so that our sins may be blotted out, as the scripture proclaimed. Because, hey, trust, this is not, uh, hey... Hey, hey, you know what the scriptures say, man. If you've broken one, you've broken them all. Right? So it's not, not, it's not like that at all. But these laws is our schoolmaster to keep us in line. Right? Let's read this again. Galatians chapter 3, verse 24. Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us to Yahweh Shem that we might be justified by faith. Right? So because of the faith that we had once we come to Yahweh Shem we we understand. We get to learn. We get to know you. How about you? Get to know you. How about Shemashai? Because remember, we fall. We fell away. Then we were uh, lied to. We were kept. We were, we were told to worship this false god and false idol. To say the law's done away with all these things. Worked with the pagan damn holidays and all, all all kind of manner of wickedness. So coming back to you, how about Shemashai through the law, and giving having that faith. Now we're like being faithful and keeping the laws that we can. Because we love you, how about Shema Shai? We understand, hey, and we understand that the law is good. We understand that this world is wicked. We don't want to be with this world. We want to be with Yahweh Shai. We want to be with Yahweh Shema Shai. We want the promise. So we go, you know, go head on to the best of our abilities, bro. But not also being not being condemned because in scripture, scripture say, you know, we're, we're we're in these chains of darkness. You know, we're subject to vanity. We gonna go off. But that's why that's why Yahweh Hashem Hashem had me make that epistle a while back, man. Um, you know, it's about con continually to repent. No matter how many times you you break, you do, do the wrong, repent then. You know, you know you you know you're going off. Repent then, and just like the big brother Elder was talking about, there's certain things you know you just hey we done did it. You know, but the they're on they're gonna be on your mind, bro. If you if you understand this, understand. You know, and you've come back to your house, shy. You gonna damn well know what time it is when it comes to the things you can do. What you, you know, what you're doing, will, sinning willfully, and all this. You gonna know, bro. You know, as the stripper claims, he that is. Let's go get it, man. In the book of Revelations, and it's the truth, bro. It's the because don't forget now we're being led by the spirit of Yahweh Shem Hashai. Okay, Yahweh Shem Hashai said, "I'll be in you." And you and me. Because we're hoping to be a part of that number. We're not sitting around. This, these words are not falling on the ears of the two damn thirds. And they're saying, yeah, yeah, I get it. I get that. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. No, they're not saying that, bro. This is for the 144 hopeful elect and one third of Israel. Okay? He with an ear, let him hear, my man. Okay? This is the book of, um, once again. Book of Revelation chapter 22, verse 11. He that is unjust... Let him be unjust still, right? He that is filthy, let him be filthy still, right? Because everybody's in their lot. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. He that is holy, let him be holy still. Now, see, now it's making sense. Because you got the spirit, Yahweh you know, I'm bless you with this certain spirit. You know, um, he's the father of spirits. Everybody's in their lot, everybody's playing. You know their role. Okay. Once again, another stripper just came to mind.
And I got two different types of incense. I hope they don't mess, mess me up, man. Okay. We're going to go to the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 20. Let's start at verse 19. Nevertheless, the foundations of Yehovah Shema shall stand in sure. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his, right? And let everyone that nameth the name of Yehovah Shema depart from what? Iniquity, which is sin upon sin upon sin upon sin. Because why? You haven't taken the time to examine yourself. You you, you know, and because we, we're coming back, man. And uh, the scripture we were about to get, I'm going to get it in a minute. Romans chapter 6, verse 1. We're walking in the spirit, okay? So look. Let everyone that nameth the name of Yahweh shall depart from iniquity. Because you're gonna be you're gonna be done come back with that schoolmaster. Now you're 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 under grace, you're under mercy, you're under you know, you 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 have faith in Yahweh Shem Shah, you believe this word. You believe the word that he's gonna come back and judge this wicked ass world. So you don't want nothing to do with this world. You're putting off the old man. You're being obedient, bro. Being just as simple as that. It ain't nothing. It ain't no no big thing. Hey man, it's not a big thing. Yeah, sure, it's a fight. Ah, 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 ah. And hey, trust me, bro. I've had my battles, and it just so happens this this one this day this week this moment. I'm at peace, you know. But who's to say tomorrow I might have to I might be in the fight of my life. You know, I, I remember just a couple of weeks back, I was in, in a series of fight with a lust demon. I'm talking about, man, I'm going at it, man. Lust demon all in the bedroom. Yeah, hop. I'm getting my ass whooped, bro. That's still fighting back, though, you know. But it ain't easy, my man. But you, what you do, you pray. You fast. You repent. You fall. You're going to fall. You're going to fall down. you fighting just like, um, that's why I, I kept bringing, bringing it up for the longest time. That epistle by Elder Apostle Gabar. When he had that picture of that of that demon. That demon dog. And it was on the man. They actually, I think they took a photo. Somebody took a photo of him. And they had. That was a, a freaking demon dog head on this man's shoulder. It reminded me of a movie. Of a, There was a movie one time uh, about this deceased lady. And she. I think her boyfriend or, or some her husband had either killed her or something had happened. Or he was a cause of her death. So she was haunting him. And he was like, oh, my neck. My neck is fucked. My neck is bad. My neck. Right? And uh, just so happened some kind of way, the camera fell down one day and he took a picture of himself. And her ass was sitting on his fucking neck the whole time. But, it, you know, I know that's just, a, you know, that's just a, because we understand what happened tonight. Because you have Hashem Hashem with the, with the blessing that he's given us with the elders of Apostle Great Millstone. All the other brothers on down that umbrella with his Holy Spirit as well. He's let us know that when, when you know, through the scriptures, through the word of Yahweh Hashem Hashem, when we die, our spirit goes right back to, to Yahweh Hashem Hashem. Right? Now, of course, there's spiritual spirits are walking around on here, demons and stuff, you know. But these spirits here go straight back to the Lord. Right? Come back down in another body to be judged. All right? So all that hunting shit, no. But anyway, yeah, so Elder had that, had that demon on, you know, that, that picture of that demon dog, man. It, and because we, we are in a fight, bro. We're constantly fighting, you know, with the flesh. You know, constantly fighting with these demons, the spiritual demons, Satan. Got Esau Eden over here doing their job. So, uh, that's why, you know, uh, the scripture tells us to walk in the spirit, man. And you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh, right? Because the flesh lusts after the, the flesh lust, lusted after the spirit and the spirit after the, after the flesh. Because everything is a fight, right? So... Okay, but let's let's continue. Let's finish off this uh, Second Timothy, Second Tim Timothy chapter two verse nineteen. Nevertheless, the foundations of Yahweh Shema shall stand in sure, having this seal: the Lord knows them that are His. Right. So, it's it's as 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 we read in the book of Romans chapter eight verse twenty nine. It's already preordained, right? It's already written about the hundred and forty four. 144 hopefully elected one third of Israel getting the victory. It's already written that Esau Edom gonna be cast out of heaven. It's already written that the uh, 
that the other nations and Esau, they're going to be slaves. They're going to be slaves under the children of Israel in the kingdom of heaven. It's all, all this already written, bro. Okay? Yahweh Shemashai knows them that are his. That's why we're hoping and praying to be a part of that 144 elect number. Okay? To escape that second death. All right? Let everyone that nameth the name of Yahweh Shemashai depart from iniquity. Right, because we're going to be doing it to the, hey man, we're going to be, not even, you know, once you get to, once you have Hashem Hashai, you know, chastise you so many times, you know, um, after a while, it just becomes like, you, 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 you're like, as gold tried in the fire, right? You're going to be like, uh, shit, so when it comes around again, you done went through it so many times. You know, you're like, shit, I can't, I can't, I can't, I don't want to go down that road no more. That's, that's the road, it's tough. So let me just, what does the scripture say? What does the scripture say? Um, it says, uh, shoot, uh, resist the devil and he will flee. Right. So, you know, after the, after, after getting chastised, beat, you know, and, uh, and, 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 and losing and having to repent. That's why we made the, you know, Lord, you know, we made that epistle. You know, continue to repent over and over again, even if it's the same thing. Humble. That's humbling, you know, because you got to be some kind of real ass to keep falling for the same trick. What this, what, this, what, the, what, the, what, the, what they say in the world? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Right? Something like that, bro. But anyway, let everyone that name the name of Yahweh Shah depart from iniquity. Right? Because once again, the, the uh, it's the schoolmaster that brings us. To you, how about you? How about Shema Shah? And then the faith, the belief, the hope that we have, we, we we repent with our whole heart and we we put off the old man, the deeds of the flesh, and, and start and walk renewed and refreshed, not with the lies and traditions of men anymore, but in the ways that Yahweh by Shema Yahshai declared for us to be as that holy people, that royal, regal people, bro, that noble vine, my man, not that brute beast, you know. Hey, verse 20, but in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and of earth and some to honor and some to dishonor. Okay, right. So there's you, that, like father of spirits. There's, there's, there's everyone, you know, um, the kingdom of heaven is like a net that catches every type of fish, right? You got the non-believers just like right now, just, uh. Got the northern kingdom just drove by, right? He was one of those. He was one of them preachers. That's still, that's still, you know, blinded by the gods of this world, bro. And you know, we don't, we don't did our job. Went around, spoke to mostly all these preachers when we first come into the truth. You know how the Yahweh Shema try to do it. You know, then we understand. We start to understand. Oh, the election have obtained it, but the rest were blinded. Then you know, we just continue on. To do the work of an evangelist, come out on the highways and hedges. You know, he with an ear, let him hear. You know, hear these words, whether they hear or whether they forbear. You know, and we walk in the spirit, bro. If the spirit has us one day to, to talk to somebody in a grocery store or whatever, so be it. But most of the time, no. It's, 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 you know, right here on the highways and hedges to bid them to the marriage. Make the epistles throughout the week, you know. Because we understand... Yahweh Hashem is in control of all things. You know, he's the one that directs the footsteps of men. So, this is verse 21. So, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 21. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified, and meet for the master's use, bro. And prepared unto every good work. Okay? Now, see, look, right there. I See, right here for me, this one right here, this, this right here gets me, man. Okay, because, yes, yes, yes. Now, I'm praying because Yahweh Hashem HaShem said he to give us the desires of our heart, right? I am praying for them spiritual powers, man. Deep, Yeah, I really am. Just like the brother in New Orleans, uh, GMS Louisiana Saints was saying, too. He wants to, he wants, he wants to kick some, some two-third ass and some, some, uh, some heat in the ass, bro. Yeah, man. So, but I'm, yeah, I'm praying for them spiritual powers, you know, uh. I've always had those dreams about flying, bro. Um, Y'all know, and, and I, I, I know you brothers. I know you brothers out there feel the same way. 
you know, a lot of brothers, there's a, there's a lot of brothers that say, you know, just want to be, you know, just get in there. Yeah, yeah, we just want to get in there. We want to avoid the second death, all of it, bro. But man, just imagine, ah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> oh man. So listen, 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 check it out. Um, verse 21. So this is 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 21. If a man therefore purge himself, okay, of these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for the message use, and prepared unto every good work. Right. So you continue to draw closer and closer to Yahweh by Shema Shai. Believe and have in faith. You know, uh, as the stripper proclaims, he that endured to the end. Uh, and just praying always, man. Watching and praying. Watching and praying always. So let's, we're going to go get that Romans now. Romans chapter 6, verse 1. Just to, uh, you know, finish it off about from this morning. And, uh, okay. Is it recording, bro? I feel like something's off for some reason. Hold on. Okay. I guess everything looks like everything's okay. Okay, this is the book of Romans chapter 6, verse 1. What shall, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we, that we are dead to sin, live any live any longer therein? Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Yahweh Shai were baptized into his death? Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death. That like as Yahweh Shai was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. Right, newness of life. Throwing that old man off, putting off these, these you know, just, hey man, understanding who we are and what has happened. Our tradition, our heritage, you know. For if we have been planted, she says a spider or something in her. Oh, it's a black bird, she says something. That's funny. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we also, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him. That the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. For he that is dead is free from sin. Now if we be dead with Yahweh Shai, we believe that we shall also live with him. Knowing that Yahweh Shai being raised from the dead, dieth no more, death had no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once. But in that he liveth, he liveth unto Yahweh. Likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin. But alive unto Yahweh through Yahweh Shai our Lord. Right. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal bodies that ye should obey it in the lust thereof. Right man. And that's beautiful. Right. And you know what, what, what comes to mind for me. Is uh. That's, yeah, that's, a, that's a good chapter right there, man. What comes to mind for me, man, is the, you know, because we were, we're all, we all from the world. We all did some, some things out there, you know, some wicked acts and all that stuff. And uh, when we were called out of darkness to this marvelous light, and it didn't happen overnight, man. No, we still, you know, we st and uh, as the brother was saying, a just man falls down seven times, but he get back up, you know. But we are nothing like that that old man was, bro. And that's a that's a ble hey, that's a true blessing because, hey man, I don't know I don't know y'all about y'all, but man, but me, I remember fucking crying, bro. 
What is it? It must. I think she said it was a bird, some kind of way a bird got in there. But uh, yeah, I remember crying, man, for all the all the all the all the all the wicked things, you know. And, and uh, this is it's freedom. Yeah, how about Shema Shai has freed us from 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 that bondage, man, of sin. That's all. You know, he's given us hope of salvation. We have the mind of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Do you understand what that means, bro? That that's not a lot of people don't have this. This gift of faith. You know, and as as the scripture proclaims, you know, you know, you you you're gonna what you gonna do? You're gonna put Yahweh Shai to an open shame? Hell to the no. Okay, and that's all we're gonna say about it. We're gonna, that's all we're gonna say. Now, let's come on, let's go on and get in there. Because you know what we are here for. We are here to warn the children of Israel, man. Tell them to repent from their wicked ways, bro. Bring out this gospel of peace. This 100% truth. You know, condemn this wicked ass world. And all these things, bro. I'll be glad when they get the hell on, man. See, uh, I gotta go find that that article about the the Neuralink. Let's go look at let's go look at it real quick. Let's go see if we can find it real quick. Okay, I'm gonna put in. I'm gonna put in. Uh, I'm gonna type in. Neuralink is ready, right? That's them, man. That's them Northern Kingdom right there, driving by, waving. Did y'all see them? But they won't repent, bro. Now this article right here. This was from four days ago. Okay, we're just gonna read it, type, uh, click it on real quick. Can y'all read that? It says that that the, the the brain thing to be ready for human implants, human implants in 2022. Okay, it says the AI. You know, little computer thing that will turn humans into computer program units will be available to put inside humans as soon as 2021 plans the CAEO Tesla Motors. Now, wait a minute. Let's read that one more time. The AI, that little micro, micro thing for the computer, will turn humans... Into computer programmed units. Okay, so wait a minute. We don't have to go no no farther. You're gonna turn. So you don't want to be human no more. Now you want to be turned into something else. Drop the microphone, because that's not for us, bro. That's not for us. Number one, you know we don't come back. See, that's what the schoolmaster was all about. To have us come back to Yahweh Shem understand his ways, you know. And one of the things that, that Yahweh Shem had told us to do, not to uh, make it be making no cuttings in our flesh, you know. Uh, coming back, understanding that hey, he's given us the herbs of the field, and prayer, prayer. You know, if something happens to one of us, you know, we're gonna be eating properly, you know, to the best of our abilities here in this wicked world in Babylon the Great. 
I'm just saying, as speaking as a man, bro. Uh, and of course, the, the elders, big brothers, they, you know, they, they, you know, if you get a broke, broke leg or something, you got to go to Esau. You know. But in this day and time, man, you pray and pray because you have Shema pray. That's what I do, man. I pray and hope that you have Shema will take care of us in these last days. Yeah. You know. Because we understand now he's the one that kill it to make it alive. He's the one that wound and heal, you know? So where are you gonna go, bro? That's why this epistle this morning was just talking about running to your how about she might shot, man. Run as a as a bride would run to her husband. We run to your how about she might shot for everything, man. Stand you know, stand just like this. Close. You know, coming back, understanding that your how about she might shot is the creator of all things. The creator of the universe, bro, has blessed us with this understanding. Huh? Do you do you see? Do you understand that, man? Uh-uh. Everything else out the window right now, man. So when I see this article about this man here, what what? what let's go get it real quick in the book of. Uh, Revelations chapter 14. See, because we coming back as a brother of uh, GMS give and go to the obedience of the scriptures. And what the scriptures say? It says, uh, and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, like the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh Shemashah, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, right? And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb, right? Let's read it one more time, brothers and sisters. If any man worship the beast and his image, right, and receive his M-A-R-K in his forehead or in his hand, Right, and we just read that 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 brain computer program thing. See, uh, and we understand coming in this wicked ass world, bro. We we understand what time we're living in. We understand who these devils are. All praises to you. How about Shema Shah? That 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 there's a war out here on this truth. They're talking about striking brothers' channels and stuff like that because if we if we say certain, these words right here, that's Condemning them on them. Let's bring out the truth about what's going on. And that's evidence in itself. Which makes us draw closer and closer to you. How about you, my child? Being so, ever so thankful for this truth. Because there's so many people that have no clue. But we're his chosen people, bro. Prophecy must be and will be fulfilled. And is being fulfilled right now as we speak. We are, we're living this prophecy. By standing out here preaching this word right here on these streets. And the third angel followed, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his M-A-R-K in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh Shemashah. Okay? We don't want the wine of the wrath of Yahweh Shemashah. We'd rather fall into the hands of Yahweh Shemashah rather than the hands of men. Okay? Because it's written. Yeah. We've got to get it in a minute. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh Shemashah, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, bro. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Right, man. Go on to the book of Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil, which Esau Edom, the Caucasian race, shall cast some of you into prison. That ye may be tried. And ye shall have tribulations ten days. Okay, you're going to be in there for a while. Some some of y'all are going to get beheaded. Well, you know, uh, we don't know, man, who. But, you know, we all, you know, we all, that's why we're coming back, walking in the Spirit. So, who, you know, whoever it's going to be, it's just prophecy has to be fulfilled. We're hoping that it's not us, per, per se. But, at the same time, it's a great honor. You know, but I know I'm looking forward to them spiritual powers, bro. I'm hoping and praying for that. 
hoping for deliverance out of all these trouble, tribulations and, and struggles and things like that. These afflictions, man. Fear none of those things. Open that Yahweh Shem HaShai giving the spirit to endure until the end. And to fear none of these things, bro. This is the time that we have right here, this grace period that we have, to come back and uh, let these let these marinate in these scriptures right here. Let these things sink in because they are about to come to pass. Okay? Ain't no playing around around here. Ain't no, you know, uh, 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 you know, back and forth no more and all that bullshit. No. We moving on. Okay? Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried. And ye shall have tribulations ten days. Be thou faithful, okay, unto the death. And I will give thee a crown of life. He that have an ear, let him hear. What the Spirit said unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death, bro. Right. Oh, you see that? He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. And that's exactly what I was hoping for and, 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 and speaking about just, just a while ago, man. That, you know, we, we, don't want to, we don't want no part of that second death. And what's that scripture Yahweh Shem HaShah said? We're about to get it now. Roughly paraphrasing that I'm going to leave you here and melt you. You know, that's second death, bro. Because what? We, we, we been, we've been warned. You know, starting with the elders, apostle, great millstone. All the brothers on down that umbrella. What's the scripture? Wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of thy time and strength of salvation. We, we already know the play, the play by play, you know. Night. Yes, yeah. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 22, verse 20. As they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it, to melt it, so will I gather you in mine anger and in my fury, and I will leave you there and melt you. Right. Because what? You didn't take heed to the warnings. You didn't repent with your whole heart. You know? You didn't, you didn't turn away from this wicked-ass world. You condone, you condone this place. You said, oh, yeah, yeah, it's good. Live and let live. Yeah, let that man do what he want with that other man. That's fine. No, man. You know? You didn't cry inside for all the abominations done in the midst thereof. You didn't believe in this 100% truth. You didn't separate yourself. You didn't be holy like you have. You didn't do none of the stuff that you have about Shema Shah. You didn't sit in his wise counsel. So you have Hashem Hashem say, I'm going to leave you here and melt you. The scripture says, you know, uh, all that. Let's let's go get it in the scriptures. Because I, I just can't be sitting up here paraphrasing all night long, right, brothers and sisters? This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Right, everyone that is found shall be thrust through. Everyone that is joined unto them, everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Right, you still believe in Esau eating the Caucasian race, and this, this great American dream, and all this bullshit. You didn't want to believe in Yahweh Shema Shai. You still joined onto them. You're still making a covenant with the heathen. You're still celebrating and worshiping their pagan holidays. Huh? You're still a part of this funky-ass society, thinking that it's going to continue on forever. You're going to be thrust through. Yahweh Shem HaShah said he's going to leave you here and melt you. He's created, uh, got spirits created for vengeance out here for you. This time of Jacob's trouble. You know? You're going, to the, you're going down to Egypt for help, which is the sword of Yahweh Shem HaShah. Do you understand... These people are devils. And what does scripture say? <clears throat> it says uh, Proverbs chapter 12 verse 10. A righteous man regardeth the life of his beast, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. Right. A righteous man, you know, regardeth the life of his beast, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. Right. Elder what Yashawamba was uh, just bringing out in the epistle. I was just watching it about, um, you know, he brought up 
what El Apostle Romlov was speaking about about that documentary do, do, documentary about crack cocaine, man. How these devils put it in our neighborhoods with the guns and all that stuff, you know, to cut off the children of Israel, you know. Uh, and now they're trying to start a program I'm talking about some, uh, <clears throat> you know, even though these drugs are illegal, they put it up in the neighborhoods talking about some. You can come here and shoot up. And be, you know, we can look over you so you don't die. You know? But instead of saying, you know, no, we're really going to crack down on this on this shit. And get it off the streets. You know, but no, because the earth is giving it to the hand of the wicked, bro. You know? So they got a forked tongue, man. Wait, wait, whatever. <clears throat> we understand. We know who they are, bro. They have been exposed. In the book of Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, chapter 12, verse 13. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with the serpent, or any such as come nigh wild beasts? Let's go get that in the book. Book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 12, verse 13 again. Wait, let's start at verse 12. That's why I wanted to come here. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thine enemies. Right? And who, who who's the enemy? The ones that led us into captivity. Esau Eden, the Caucasian race. For like as as iron rusts, so is his wickedness. Right. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and though, and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Set him not by thee, least when he have, oh, least when he hath overthrown thee, he standeth up in thy place. Neither let him sit at the at thy right hand. Least he seek to take thy seat, and thou, at the last, remember my words and be pricked therewith. It says, who will pity a charmer that is bitten with the serpent, or sit a uh, such as come nigh wild beast? All right, exactly, and that's what's happening in these last days, where you see these people, oh, oh, don't do it, you know. After, but they got all these, all these little uh, testimonies. All over the place, declaring that, hey man, there's something wrong with the medicine. But they still gonna do it. So who would pity a charmer bitten by a stake? But hey, for us of the household of faith, the children of Israel, the so called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, man, the ones that's been called out of their darkness to this marvelous light, Yahweh Shem Hashai, has let it be known to us, you know, to keep his commandments and live, you know, to the best of our ability. They, these things, these are here to keep us safe, bro. Right, they keep us safe. They keep us separate from all these all this wickedness, you know. I'm on the I might need a word or something. What's going on, man? Nothing much. You know I'm good. You know, you, you know. My brother. Uh huh. You doing it? No, I can't stop. Can't stop, man. Yeah, so you know, all with the, with the truth, man. The truth has got us out here, understanding what time we're living in, brothers and sisters. You know? So we understand what uh, Revelations chapter... Let's go get it real quick. We understand what time we're living in. We understand Revelations chapter 13. Uh, and the warning. We just read the warning in uh, Revelation chapter 14. Night, 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 night. You know? Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And he calls all... Both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive an M A R K in their right hand or in their forehead, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the M A R K, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Right. It's, it's written right here in the scriptures. Let us know what time we're living in, 
and these prophecies are going to be fulfilled, you know, pretty soon. You know, right now, like we brought out uh, the other day, and we always continue to bring out, and even this morning that, you know, right now we can't go. There's a there's a little store right across the street here. There's plenty all around, you know, in each city, in each neighborhood, you know, um, and the people that own those places are, are uh, threatened with fines, like $10,000 fines if they don't comply and don't, uh, you know, make sure that the uh, patrons that come in there, you know, don't, you know, make sure that they all put on their coverings, you know, the face coverings and stuff. And the next step will be they got to check, make sure they got the medicine or either they might jump over right to the M.A.R.K., bro. And we're hoping and hoping for that, you know, because that's what we're looking for. Because we know these to be true, because we believe and we trust in Yahweh Shemasha, right? That faith that we've come back to, you know. Here's the faith and the patience of the saints, you know, because the, the promise is there that he that leads it in captivity shall go into captivity. Now we we know, we you know that we were led into captivity, bro. We're yet this day in our captivity, you know, waking up, having to go to the plantation day in day out. We damn sure know we yet this day in our captivity. The promise said that he that lead in captivity shall go into captivity. So we we waiting on the promises. We hoping for these promises. We have faith in these promises. You know that's one of, you know that's one of the blessings of, actually for the children of Israel. Come on, y'all. Let's go get this in the book of Proverbs, chapter one, verse twenty. See, because it don't matter. How these damn hypocrites go on about, yeah, 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 you know, to tomorrow, tomorrow, or whatever. And they they go on as if they're going to consider the word or whatever. Because we are, we are we already understand, bro. We have that discernment. As we read earlier in the book of Second Timothy, the Lord, Yahweh Shemash, knows them that are his. Now, we don't know, so but we we watching people, watching their actions and stuff. But the word is out to you know for the children of Israel to repent. That's why we are here. And not necessarily all that repent are going to be preaching the word, of course. You know, uh, Scripture tells us that the work of Yahweh by Shemasha in the book of John chapter 6, verse 28. Let's go get it real quick. We, we know that the governing body is going to be out here preaching his word, bro. The 144 hopeful elect, man. They're going to be putting on as the elect, right? This is the book of John chapter 6, verse 28. Then said they unto him, What shall we do that we might work the works of Yahweh? Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, This is the work of Yahweh by Shemashai, that ye believe on him whom he hath sent. Right? Believe in these words. And by believing... You know, having that faith, you're going to be doers. You're going to have that fear. You're going to say, oh, well, shit, man. Well, I know Yahweh Shemashah is going to come and judge these sinners. I want to be covered by the blood of the Lamb. You know, so you're going to believe, you're going to cleave on to Yahweh Shemashah. And just believe on Him, right? Then that goes right back to walking in the Spirit. And knowing that, you know, you're not justified by, by, uh, let's go get it real quick. Yeah, in the book of Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. For by grace are you saved through faith. Right. And you know that as we were reading uh, in uh, in uh, Romans, that schoolmaster, right? 
For by grace are you saved through faith, and not of yourselves. It is a gift of Yahweh Shem Hashem. It's all predestinated, bro. But the elect is going to be walking a certain way. They're not going to be, as we read, you know, you read it, we read it. You know, you're going to put off that old man, you know, all of the deeds of the flesh, all these things. You're going to be walking with newness of life to the best of your abilities, man. Come on, let's go get this. This book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 20. She, wisdom cries without. She uttered her voice in the street. She cried in the chief place of concourse, in the opening of the gates in the city, she uttered her words, saying, How long, you simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge, bro. Beautiful words, right? Simple. Right there. Telling you that the word, the true words of Yahweh Shemashai is being preached on the four corners of the earth, fulfilling that prophecy. Yahweh Shemashai don't dwell in no temple made with hands. Out here, telling you how long, you simple ones, Will you love simplicity? You know, it's been said so many times. Oh, shoot, I forgot my other little sign. I forgot my little sign with that uh, devil, Caesar Borgia, or Sir Rapids Crispy. You know, this false god and false idol, so called named JC. It's been said so many times that, you know, we've been lied to. That the Messiah's got woolly hair, skin of bronze, that he was. You know, he only came for the children of Israel, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. We're out here on the four corners of the earth, compelling them to come in, speaking to the children of Israel, telling them to repent to the one true living God. You know? How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? Scorners delight in their scorning. You still got these scorners out here running up on the comment boards, laughing, mocking, uh, coming with their false doctrines. Why can't we all come together? All these things. Being rebuked, but they don't take rebuke. They don't repent from the rebuke. That's what rebuke's for. So, they, you know, rebuke them sharply so they be sound in the faith. But their their lot is to be a scorner. Right? And Yahweh Shemashah has made it known to us that all these people have their lots. It's like, as a stripper of clay, we have the mind of Yahweh by Shem Shah, bro. Which also gives us more hope. To be part of that number, bro. Hold on ever so tightly, you know? How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? Scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. They don't, they don't want it, because what the scriptures say? And this is the, the condemnation that light has come in the world. But men love darkness rather than light. This 100% truth right here. Telling you to believe in something that you've never heard before, bro. Something that you've never seen before. Because we fell away. But the scripture talks about our forefathers. Which is which are us. Reincarnation is real. You know? As the scripture proclaims. Ye always resist the Holy Spirit. As your fathers did, so do ye. Right? So everybody's in their lot. It says, turn you at my reproof. Right. Because the gates of mercy are open. Looking for the 144, hopefully elect, and one third of Israel. Turn you at my reproof. Because this is something you got to you gotta break away from the pack, man. Seek out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You can't, you know, rely on, on the traditions of men no more. On, 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 oh, the family now. We, we are a unit. We are a family unit. We all, you know, believe in this one thing. No, not with this. Yahweh Shah say, I did not come to bring peace on earth, but the sword. I came to bring division, right? Set a man at variance against the members of his own household, brothers and sisters. So you got to seek out your own salvation with fear and trembling because he said, what did he say? I'm going to take you two by family and one by city. Huh? This is the 100% truth of the scriptures. This is the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. This is the gospel of peace. Yahweh Shem Hashem declaring that he's going to come back and set these devils, Esau, even the Caucasian race, the one that's running this world in all wickedness, set all rule and authority under his foot, bro, and the kingdom of heaven is going to be established. You know? And we're right here at it, man. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to close it out, man. 
I'm going to close it out, brothers and sisters. So hopefully this was edifying and exhorting. I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land wherever we go. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom.